Hi, it's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV or whatever. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Oh, look who it is! Here to gawk at the man on the balloon, huh? Come to make fun of the floating sweater man who's stuck in the ozone layer. Well, go ahead. No one's stopping ya. I've run out of food. I've run out of pride. I've got nothing left for you little chicken nuggets. Oh, wait, that's not true. Here's one more thing. My glasses. Why don't you take them? Actually, this was a bad idea. I can't see a thing now. Can I have them back, please? Come on, seriously, I can't see. Oh, wait, I think I carry an extra pair of my socks. What? No, it's in my pocket. Anyways, where were we? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going bonkers! I'm serious, I've been up here for more than two weeks! I'm starting to forget what it was like to live on Earth. What did grass feel like? What sound did a waterfall make? No, that's not it. I forgot how to laugh. Don't believe me? Watch! <laughs> See? I'm losing it! Man, if I ever get back to Earth and that's a big if, what am I gonna do with myself? I'm useless now. Hey, easy there, bud. That's my best friend you're talking about. Katie, what are you doing here? I just figured I'd check in on you. Still in the air, huh? <laughs> no, this is my bathtub. Yes, I'm still in the air, Katie. I think it's pretty obvious I'm still stuck in the air. All right. Someone woke up on the wrong side of the basket. Just kidding, Carl. You know, even stuck in the air, you're not useless, right? Oh, really? How'd you figure that, Miss Smarty Pants? Well, first off, no one is useless, so jot that down. And secondly, I think God made it pretty clear in 2 Kings chapter 5 that we all have an important role as followers of God. Well, I wouldn't know that because I've been too busy this week to read the story. Busy with what? Pouting? I don't pout! So what happened to the story? Well, it focuses on this great man named Naaman from a place called Aram. He was a mighty warrior that many people admired. There was only one issue. People had a problem pronouncing his name? Nope. He had leprosy, which was a disease that was fairly common back then. It caused the person who had it to have sores and bumps all over their body. It wasn't comfortable at all, and Naaman didn't like it one bit. Well, that's a bummer. I don't like this story. Well, just wait. There was this girl who worked for Naaman's wife. She said that there was a man who could help him heal in Israel. Oh, who? I'm getting there. So when Naaman had heard this, he went to the king of Aram to ask if he could send a letter to this man in Israel. And the king said, of course. So they sent a letter to the king of Israel asking about the man who could heal Naaman. Oh, who is this mystery man? I think I know, but keep going. Now, when the king of Israel got the letter, he kind of got upset. What? Why? Well, he thought that the king of Aram was trying to pick a fight with him. Who could possibly help heal someone who has leprosy? Surely this was some kind of elaborate trick. But little did he realize, there really was someone in Israel who could help Naaman. Batman! Good guess, but it was our good friend Elisha. hey Elisha in the house! So Elisha told the king to tell Naaman to come to Israel and he would help him. And once Naaman showed up, he asked Elisha what he had to do to be healed. And the man couldn't believe what Elisha said. What did Elisha say? What did Elisha say? Well, he actually sent a messenger to Naaman and he told the man to go dip himself into the Jordan River, not once, not twice, but seven times. Do you think that bad? <laughs> no. It's just what Elisha knew he had to do to be healed. But the man got angry. He didn't understand why Elisha would have him travel such a long way just to do something so simple. He was convinced it wasn't going to work and that it was all just a waste. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't sound like it would work. But doesn't the man have faith that God could work through the words of Elisha? After all, he was a prophet. Exactly. So Naaman's servants went up to him and tried to convince him. They told Naaman that if Elisha would have told you to do something big and difficult, then wouldn't you have done it? 
then why not do something that's as simple as going into the river and dipping yourself in the water seven times? They make a good point. What did Naaman decide to do? Go home or listen to Elisha? Well, what would you have done? To be honest, I would have my doubts too. But at the end of the day, we have to trust God and the people that God speaks through. Exactly. And that's what Naaman did. He went into the river and dipped himself in that water. And when he came out that seventh time, the leprosy was gone. Gone? Like gone gone? Gone gone. Woohoo! Hallelujah! That's amazing. Right? And that's why I wanted to remind you of that story. Because look at all the people involved. The girl who told him about Elisha, the king who allowed him to write the letter, the king who received the letter, and the servants who convinced Naaman to go into the Jordan. Wow, I guess you're right. Without all those people, Naaman would have lived the rest of his life suffering. Exactly. But God chose to use all those people to prove that everyone is someone God can work through, and that faith can change everything. Wait, so are you saying this is like the same for us today? I sure am. You see how God worked back then? God is just as active today, if not more, because now we have the Holy Spirit to guide us every day. Wow, you're so right! No matter how stuck or unimportant we may feel at times, we can all be used by God in big ways. Well kids, I have a big and huge idea for you today, and it's this. I can be used by God. So what I want us to do is to say it as loud as you can. I want everyone, even the people flying in the planes through the air, to hear you. Ready? One, two, three. I can be used by God. Yes, 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 you can. Now, I don't know about you, but I did it. What's wrong, Carl? I landed! I finally landed! No way! How did that happen? Well, my buddy Andy threw up a fishing line and pulled me down. It's a miracle! I'm gonna go eat 20 pounds of chicken nuggets and go hug my mama now. How do I get out of this? Well, Teller Sam says, hey. <laughs> well, it looks like God has taken care of everything once again. You all have an awesome week. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV.
worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving in the midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in. Darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are we make miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here, touching it.
verse challenge. Woo woo! Colossians 3 verse 2. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things.